Hey everybody, so this is the setup video 2.0, May 2017 for the Dow Does Destiny YouTube channel and uh, my live streams as well, twitch.tv slash dado. So we're just going to get right into it. You know, not a whole lot has changed from the first one, but uh, you know, a couple minor things here and there. So the first thing, how do I record and how do I stream? Well, we have our PlayStation and our Xbox right here. Probably not supposed to stack them on top of each other. What are you going to do? We have our HDMI coming in from the PlayStation or the Xbox, and that's going down to the same HDMI splitter that I've had for a very long time. Works very, very well. And that splits the outputs into two of them. One of them is going over to this bad boy over here. It's Elgato HD60S. Uh, it's basically just the newer um, Elgato that I had compared to the last time I did this video. And that plugs into my laptop whenever I need it via USB 3.0. And the reason why I have this is because for a while I was not able to stream and record at the same time. But now it's just more of a redundancy thing. You know, I just like having a backup thing going in the background as often as I possibly can. So, you know, it's, it's just a redundancy thing. The other one, this one, goes to my computer, which has an internal Elgato card in a PCIe expansion slot. And then that goes out to my monitor. So I can record on my laptop using this, and I can stream on my main computer with this output and the card that I have in my computer, which is, you know, it's pretty handy. And then if I ever need to switch to Xbox, that's the Xbox HDMI, just switch it with this one and we're good to go. So, we have that. Then we have audio. I used to use this, the Blue Yeti, and it's a very, very popular microphone. It's very, very good, but it will pick up everything, everything in the room. And as you can hear, this room is kind of echoey, uh, not very well acoustically sound. So, plus I also wanted to upgrade my microphone situation anyway. So we have the Shure SM7B microphone, and this is connected to a Rode, a Rode uh, arm, basically, just like a desk arm. Uh, this does not fit exactly perfectly. It's a little loose. You do need a another thing to put on here that I'm getting to make sure that this doesn't like wobble around and stuff. But it's safe, and so it's it's okay for now. And that's hooked up to XLR. Also, this does not need a shock mount. It's all internal, which is very nice. Looks clean. XLR goes into right here, the SS1 preamp, because the Shure does need a lot of extra sound. Uh, you can also get the cloud lifter. They're basically the exact same thing. And that goes into a currently borrowed, but I'm probably gonna buy this one, Yamaha AG03 audio interface mixing console thing. Plug the XLR into here. Then you have USB, I think this is USB 2.0 out to your computer and the computer powers it. Uh, this itself comes with your phantom power, which you need, you know, you got your gain. With the preamp, with the preamp, you do not need to crank the gain all the way to get a signal out of the, uh, out of the Shure. You can go about, you know, a little more than halfway and it's pretty good. You have your compressor and your EQ and then this is like a reverb effect for your microphone if you wanna be that guy. I also still have the Focusrite Scarlet 2i2, uh, but I had a situation where while using it, my microphone went all super robot awful noise mode uh, during one of my streams. All right, ready? Ready? Let's go. Yeah, hit it. Just so everyone knows what this Hot is. Hot the doggoo. Yeah. Thank you very much for subbing. You should give a refresh your stream. What? Oh, what? Uh, Robo Dado with the robot. Uh -huh. And other people have also had this problem, but since I was able to borrow this, I haven't really looked into troubleshooting the other thing too much, this thing too much. Uh, I know a lot of people use this with a lot of success, but I think I'm just going to end up getting this one because it hasn't shown any sort of issue with anything at this time. So I'd rather just get this one instead and return... This one, but I know a lot of, like, I think Holtzman uses this one as well without much issue. So both are, both are okay, but I just don't feel like troubleshooting the focus right. 
So that's audio. That is for my audio recordings. Uh, still plenty of sound, sound fixing I gotta do for this room. Now when we're playing, I am able to listen to my PC and my console at the same time, which is very handy because I use Discord, I use TeamSpeak, I don't like to use Party Chat because it sounds not too great. So how do we listen to both at the same time? Well, we have the Astro A50s. I'm sure the A40s can probably also do this, provided they have the same ports. I just like being wireless. So what you need to do, very simple, we have our USB power, and that goes into the computer right here. And then we have our optical right here, and that goes into the PlayStation or the Xbox, depending on what I'm playing. And that allows me to hear uh, the console and my computer at the same time, but I cannot speak on console unless I plug in this USB power into the console as well, and then I can. Just gotta make sure you flip this switch right here over to PS4 instead of PC, otherwise there will be a horrific echo that your fans won't tell you about because they feel bad to tell you to correct your audio. And then, with that configuration, with, with the USB plugged into the console, you're not able to hear your computer, but that is very easily solved with a 3.5 millimeter male to male. You plug it into your, into your charging station, and then you plug the other side into your computer, <clears throat> right there, and you can hear everything. You just gotta change your audio settings. Super, super simple to do. Uh, note that I have a PS4 uh, mix amp. So that means I can still not use the microphone to chat on Xbox. I need a I need an Xbox Astro charging station thing in order to do that. So for now, I just literally use the microphone that came with the Xbox. I just plug it into the controller and I just use the microphone. I don't need to use the earpiece or anything like that. And uh, it works just fine. Uh, otherwise, uh, just a bunch of audio cables there. A lot of, lot of storage, a lot of hard drives. You know, I have this hard drive that's not plugged in right now. I have the basically the same hard drive, which is like backups and backups of backups and then current stuff. So uh, I think, where is it? I use this right here, the Backup Plus. Uh, this, that, this one's a five terabyte. I have another five terabyte and then like a couple smaller ones but uh, they're all the same drives and they work very, very well, have not had any issues. So then we come over to the computer. We have three monitors now instead of two, instead of those, sorry, like one and a half that I used to have. And this is the Asus VG248 QE 144 hertz refresh rate monitor. I do all of my gaming on this monitor specifically. Do not do any dual monitor gaming things at all. Uh, this monitor is basically just the older version, is the 239, and then this monitor is the even older version, is the 236. I could have upgraded to just three of these, the 248s, uh, but they're expensive, and I don't really need to do anything special on this monitor or on this monitor. They're just there to provide more space, so I didn't bother upgrading. Editing software. Come in close here. I have a subscription to the Creative Cloud for Adobe, so that's Premiere, Photoshop, Audition, After Effects if I need it, and it's about 50 bucks a month. I used to buy them, you know, the whole suite individually for like a couple grand, but then they switched to a subscription model, which I really don't like, but just kind of like forced to use it at this point for any updates, and so that's what I use, very, very simple. And now, for, for the average person, probably about probably a lot cheaper. 50 bucks a month will get you everything, or you can go individual programs for like 20 bucks a month. But if you get more than two, then you might as well just get all of them. You don't need to install all of them if you don't want to. And then we use OBS, and we have some Elgato software in case I do any recording on this computer, which I do somewhat often. And we have OBS over here. So I have, you know, multiple scenes set up and, and all that kind of stuff, depending on if I'm doing PC or if I'm doing console. And, you know, if you're a streamer, you probably already know how to use this. I used to not like it, but then I actually taught myself how to use it, and it's pretty good. It's pretty nice. And I like it. Finally, we got the computer, which is sitting on a shag rug, and I know you're not supposed to do that. What we got in here? We have an i7-6700K processor. 
we have the Asus Z170 motherboard. Uh, not not the gaming one, just, just the Z170. Uh, everything will be in the description, by the way, like all the parts for everything that I have shown in this video. We have a GTX 970 video card, but I'm going to be upgrading that to a 1080 Ti or whatever comes out that doesn't cost $1,000 for Destiny 2. I'm going to upgrade that. We have some, we have about 500 gigs SSD. So that's for the, you know, all my frequently used programs, operating systems, stuff like that. And plus tons and tons of extra storage for all my videos. Uh, we have a Corsair H100i water cool, self-contained water cool for the CPU. We have 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM. That'll be in the description, full, uh, full thing on that. We have a 1000 watt power supply. And I think that's everything that's major. I think so. Uh, keyboard, we have the Corsair, I know it's a little dirty. Uh, Corsair K70, and I also have the Black Widow. The reason why I got this one specifically is because people in videos were complaining about how loud the, uh, what is it, the Razer Black Widow was in the videos, and it is pretty loud. But this one's a bit quieter. It's got the cherry reds, and uh, it's pretty good. And then my mouse is something that I've had since college. I think it's the MX418 from Logitech. I'm sure there's some sort of an upgraded model now, but this thing still works pretty good. Although recently I've been having some issues, although I think it, I'm, it might be like the, the, the red sensor on the mouse pad hitting some red stuff. I don't know. But point is it's worked for a very, very long time. I like it. It doesn't look like a, like a transformer or anything like that. And it gets the job done. So it's pretty good. And I think that is about it. So if you have any questions, you can just uh, put them. You can just put them in the description or in the description in the comments, and I will try to get to you. You can also talk to me on my streams about the setup. And like I said, all info is in the description. Oh, webcam still the same Logitech C920 webcam that everyone on the planet uses. It's very cheap. Very good at what it does, so it's uh, it's all good. So that's the setup. Cool. All right. Thanks for watching. And uh, like I said, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Thanks for watching.